So Rishi Sunak announced the reduction from VAT from 20% down to 5%. How can that help you if you own furnished holiday lets or service accommodation? Check out this video as I go through all of the details. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich. I'm from Optimized Accountants and I help you save your tax on all of your property investments. Now, if you happen to be watching this video and you're from the US or you have some tax affairs in the US, then why not check out PersoTax? They can help you save tax across the Atlantic. And their video uh, description will be below this video. Now, we are going to be talking about VAT reduction from 20% down to 5%. How can that help you if you have holiday lets or indeed service accommodation? On well, this video, we'll go into that kind of detail. Before we do though, it is worth you checking out, there's a link appearing just above my head, uh, that talks about VAT considerations when you have holiday lets and service accommodation. As a quick intro to that video, it talks about the need to register for VAT once your turnover reaches £85,000. There are different circumstances, you can use flat rate VAT and how you need to go into that scheme. Do check out that video. I'm not going to go into more detail than that for today. And uh, no, in today, we are going to focus on the holiday uh, rates or hospitality reduction rates for VAT. We noticed that the VAT uh, rate is going to reduce from 20% down to 5% due to the announcement, the mini budget announcement from Rishi Sunak. In that announcement on the 8th of July 2020, he suggested that the VAT reduction will come into effect from the 15th of April, uh, 15th of July, sorry, 2020, all the way through to 31st of January 2021, which basically means that the cost of buying a pint will reduce by 15%. So will the cost of buying a hot meal in a restaurant. So this is great savings. And what I've done for you here is just suggestion that the uh, accommodation that you provide, which is VAT registered, and you have to charge VAT, the reduction will be quite significant to your end user. Um, you might have in the old rate 100 pounds, but you have to add on this VAT of 20 pounds which basically means that you've got to charge a total VAT rate now of £120. With the new rate, and this again comes from the 15th of July 2020, the amount that you'll be charging your end customer is £105. You don't need to be a genius to work out that that is a £15 reduction in the cost of your nightly stay in your holiday lets, if indeed you charge £100. It might change. Now, that's a real big change and saving for the end user. Now, there are so many things that came into my mind for the benefits of the changes that Rishi Sunak brilliantly announced, I have to say. First of all, the holiday let service accommodation, the nightly stays will reduce from 20% down to 5%. We've already covered that. But a couple of other things that came out was the 20% to 5% on food and drinks. Not only is the reduction in VAT on that element, but there's also a 50% out that basically says, eat out, help out. I love that phrase. Eat out to help out the government and the, the UK economy as a whole. Basically what happens is that you have the, uh, let's say a, a 10 pounds um, food bill, uh, you can get a uh, food and drinks uh, the voucher of 50% up to £10. So what will happen is you reduce your cost of going out, which helps the UK economy, and the restaurant in question can reclaim that money from the government through their system. I'm not sure what that looks like, I have to be honest. Probably they don't either. But the fact that they're going to do this is absolutely brilliant. Now, the other benefits that I identified through this is you've got to think about the hospitality industry itself. Well, there's going to be a greater demand in the UK. Why is that? A couple of reasons. First of all, people may not want to travel on an aeroplane, which is surrounded by other people. There isn't great ventilation and coronavirus can spread as the uh, WHO announced recently that air particles and coronavirus particles can stay in the air 
for a long period of time. Well, therefore, no one really is protected inside of a dwelling. Never mind when we think about the length of stay in an aeroplane, especially when you think about long distance. So travel in the UK may become very popular. The other side to it is if it's lower cost. If you're spending £120 on an evening stay in a hotel or service accommodation, versus 105 you might think well hold on this is a bit expensive might stay but if it's now reduced by 15 percent well all of a sudden you might be tempted to make that venture out of your home and stay on the coastal lines or in london or the other cities which is also good now the other side to it is um do note this i've just underlined this here uh, well, I've just highlighted it now. I, my underlining skills is a completely obliterated glasses required. Um, but the additional services I talk about is I went to a place whereby you can, a centre box in fact, uh, whereby you can book online for your stay. And one of the things that they say is, do you want a hamper or a food basket of some nature? And you pay up front, absolutely. But could that now be another avenue for you to generate more income from your holiday let, whereby you say, is it a special occasion? Would you like some champagne on arrival with some strawberries? Or would you like a basic food starter such as bread, milk, eggs, that kind of thing? Well, if that's the case and the amount of VAT has been reduced from 20% to 5% on hot foods and other things, then it might help you to think about other ways of generating more money from your investments and getting more money out of it, which is what it's all about, really. So uh, do have a look at that. By the way, if you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to ask any questions that you have about this particular subject, and I will answer that within 24 hours. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful and you want to know how to save tax in the future. Don't forget that you can discuss our services or indeed book a tax call to talk about how we can help you reduce your tax liability over the next 5, 10, 15 years. The link for all of this information will be below this video.